Whether or not you have naturally porcelain skin like Jasmine, you're going to want to make it completely flawless. Here I've decided to mix my favorite foundation with a white cream makeup that I got at Target for just $1 to make sure that she has a really pale face. Using this concoction, I'm going to get it on a stippling brush and apply it all over her face. I found that it was a little bit hard to work with as a consistency and can be a bit flaky if you let it sit for too long, but using your, the warmth of your hands can really help to diffuse the color and help the makeup melt into the face and look much more natural. I separated out a bit of the original mixture and added some more of the white paint to give it a lighter color and I'm applying this using a synthetic fluffy brush under the eyes and anywhere else that I want to highlight. We're not doing anything special for the brows, just taking a nice neutral brown and getting that on a small angled brush and filling in the natural shape of her eyebrows. However, to make them look a little bit more flawless, we're going to be taking a dark brown color and I'm taking this on a very thin liner brush and she's applying that right under the bridge of the eyebrow and using that to extend the length of the eyebrow. Then just running through it using a spoolie to kind of diffuse the color and make it look more natural. Finish off with some brow gel. Of course, before applying any eyeshadow, we're going to apply a primer all over the lid and along the lower lash line. Now taking a matte cream colored eyeshadow on a big fluffy brush, I'm going to get that and apply it all over the lid up to the brow bone to act as a base. Now taking a dark matte brown, we're going to get this on a flat eyeliner brush and apply this in just one straight line right into the hollow of your eye, right above where your pupil would sit. Alternate between blending using your finger and using a brush to get the right amount of color and you want it to be very diffused so that you have a distinct amount more in the center of the eye, fading out in a kind of a gradient towards either side. What you're essentially doing here is creating a whole new eye shape, something that's much more contoured and hollow looking, much like a doll's. So you're really going to have to play around and see what suits your eyes best. Taking a matte light pink color. This is from the Matte Mauve palette by Elf. She's going to get that on a fluffy brush and just apply that to the inner kind of crease area into the inner corner, blending that out. Now, taking a mix of these two different shades, she's going to get that on the same fluffy brush and use that to blend between the pink and the dark brown we used earlier. Using this Kirkman Borghese palette, she's going to be selecting this really bright white kind of shimmery color and applying that right on the center of the lids to create a highlight and a contrast between the crease color. She's also going to take that same color and apply that using packing motions right under the brow bone. Then using a shimmering white color. She's going to get that on the same brush and apply that under the brow bone and then right to the center of the lids. Taking this gorgeous elf eyeshadow in Glamorous, it's a pigment, she's going to be getting that on a fluffy brush and just applying that to the middle of the crease just to add a bit more definition. Now for the hardest part, the eyeliner. We're going to be taking a matte black eyeshadow on a small angled brush and we're going to be applying this right to the center of the eye, just creating a straight line like we did in the crease, right above where the pupil is, both on the top and bottom lash line. Continue going over this, blending it out ever so slightly and making it thicker in the very center and tapering out thinner and thinner as you go further away. Now taking a black gel liner, we're going to be getting that on that small liner brush and lining over that line we already created. But now we're going to create an even greater curve, filling in the lines, connecting it to either side, 
but be very careful that you're not creating a straight line. You really want to create a dome shape because it'll make your eyes appear much bigger and really give it that doll-like effect. Do the same thing to the lower lash line, except instead of creating a dome shape, we're just going to be intensifying that line. Now taking a white eyeliner, she's just going to line her waterline. As well as the inner corner of the eye. Now taking that taupey brown we used earlier, get that on a small liner brush and just smudge that into the outer half of the eye, blending it with the black eyeshadow and liner applied earlier. On to false lashes! We're going to be applying a bit of glue and while they're drying, I like to hold them in a kind of U shape because it'll make it much easier to apply to the dome shape eyeliner we've created. Applying it in that manner is really important to really help to intensify the doll eyed look. Even though the glue dries clear, I like to go over it using a bit of gel liner and then she's creating a tiny, tiny flick out at the corner to make it look like her lashes are even longer and more intense. Also draw in some tiny little lashes on the lower lash line. Finish off by applying some mascara to your lower lash lines to balance the look. The cheeks are going to be unquestionably hot pink because what else would a doll have? So she's going to be applying this crazy intense blush using very light strokes to the apples of her cheeks. Then taking this more rose colored blush, she's going to be applying that further back and blending that up even towards the temples. For lips, she's going to do a gradient, starting off with this bright fuchsia color. And note how she's always keeping the lipsticks within the center of the lips, never touching the corners. Then taking a lighter pink shade, she's going to apply that just to the center of her lips. Then she's finishing off with a neutral peachy pink gloss. Finally, she's going to use a white eyeliner to highlight any high points of her face, like the cupid's bow and also along her cheekbones, just blending it out using the warmth of her finger. She's also contouring her nose using a bit of black eyeliner, which is pretty risky. So if you're just starting out with contouring, you might want to start by using a dark brown or even like taupe brown because it'll be easier to blend away if you make mistakes. And that's a finished look. You are now transformed into a doll. I hope you guys enjoyed my first Halloween tutorial. A huge shout out and thank you to Jasmine for modeling in and doing most of this tutorial. You are amazing.